Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holland Drak and we are playing Distant Worlds Universe together as the Darian Republic in uh, our The Ark series. We are fighting against the Cascadon, um, Cascadon Imperial Dominion I think. Yeah, Cascadon, Imperial Cascadon Dominion, that's it. Um, we took their home system in the last episode. We took Mero Pazdo. Now their capital seems to be Ryleth. I don't see that. Have I not found that system? Is that a thing? Capital. <laughs> the capital is now a penal colony. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> um, right. I don't really see where that is. I don't see Ryleth. Oh, yeah. It's over here. Okay. I was being overlapped by that thing. Now, um, I think we're going to call in our allies. The Cascadons aren't really that scary anymore with the 80,000. There are a lot of AI empires that are stronger. The Ilta are already at war with the Cascadons, but they are not our our allies. But I got some allies, like the Vecarus, that I can call into this war. And I have just to tell them that they should come in. And then that's going to happen. The Tyrosians have actually to come in. Declare war. Nice. Boscarans are not my friend. The Ikuros are not my friend. The Tekans are my friends though. So let's call them in. Um, these guys... These guys have a mutual defense pact. So let's see what we can do. All right, the Roja Empire, they don't really care about us. But we've called in 7,300 and 17,000 and what? 330, 77,000? They must have a lot of ground troops actually. <laughs> These guys have 40,000. I'm pretty sure I can get the ex-humans and the humans into this war too. Like if I tell them, hey, what about this? And then I can't give them dispute stuff, maybe? Hmm. Doesn't really look like I can do it with them. Okay, that's fine, but what about the Nasilian Republic? So, like that. Don't we have... With like this, 40, 40 million. Um, and then I could give them stuff like optimized fuel storage. And yeah, advanced phases. Why not have that? It's going to help you. And remote shield charging. I don't, I don't really care about that. Okay, so they are at war. I wish I could give them something. Don't we have any disputed bases? It's gonna take me a lot of gonna take a lot of technologies to get up to that 48, 000, uh, 48 million. That's for certain. Could I maybe get a can only I can only give them a protectorate. I can't give them any sort of mutual defense agreement anymore because I'm just too big. I really want to pull them into this war because they're pretty near to them. All right then. Moi. We're going to we're going to uplift them then. All right. Um I have to give them expensive technologies. Their neighbors are not going to like that. But I, I personally do like the ex humans. I might do another playthrough with them. Right. I'd like to get this thing a bit bigger. I'm not gonna bother with the smaller ones. Um, shield multi multipliers, dense energy banks. 
optimized energy efficiency, multi-phase capacitors. Our goal is mainly to get the cascodons out of the galaxy because they're just mass murderers. Devastating energy release. Wait, high intensity lasers. I could also just declare war on the Renassian sovereignty. Those are the your. I don't really want to do that. I don't want to fight on two fronts. I might rue the day when I gave them all that stuff. Okay, so they're happy. I, that was a pretty expensive bribe. Let's just keep it at that. Can you go to war with the Cascadons? 28 million. Yeah, why not? The more these smaller empires um, fight against the Cascadons, the more difficult it will be for them to rebound. Because even if we have to like, get our troops together and re-evaluate what we're going to do, they're always going to be under attack. So, um, can I get some money out of this? Uh, actually, I don't want the money because then they can't build any ships like that. All right. So now those guys are at war with nearly everyone. Nearly everyone. These guys really don't like me. They're a military dictatorship. Oh well. Oh well. So we have been making inroads into the former capital system of the Cascodons, the Maripasto system, where they still have one colony. Aren't we fighting over here? No, we are not. I think actually I could pull some troops from these plants over here. Um, could you load troops at Maripasto 1? Do we have troops up here? Oh, we have lots of troops up here. I guess it might be better to load troops from this planet. Because um, this planet, I think, has been recently conquered. It's only minus 11. It's not that bad. They are going to maybe... Maybe revolt one more time. And then it's going to be okay, I think. So the third invasion fleet has no ships. Low troops at Maripaz to one over here. And then we'll see how it goes. This is going to be rather bad for the Cascodons. Now they are at war with everyone, really. Um, I hope they don't just make peace. <laughs> that would be a bit annoying. Go on, all of you, go and load troops. Third invasion fleet. I want the whole third invasion fleet to load troops. Go on. Load them. Don't just chill out over there. We're building a starport here. I think. Or at least we should be building one. And I think that's what's causing this. Oh. Yeah, Maripaz do spaceport. We're retrofitting it to system port. That's actually going to be good. Got a fleet in here that's trying to refuel. With some passenger ships that are being destroyed and damaged. Guess we have to live with that. Um, are we still? Yeah, we're still here in this in this system. And now they have really big um, capital ships. I think they must have must have upgraded their stuff. Uh, so actually, us attacking them forced them to upgrade their fleet. Which is not good. I would like to finish um, the conquering of Mero Pasture though. So that's our next priority. How are our fleets? Let's have a look. Um, so we've got a war fleet over here that is not doing anything. We've got that one over there. Got the third one in Sakuria. 
the fourth in Kerida, fifth up there, sixth down there, seventh, eighth. Okay. So how many is the sixth like? No, it's not fully refueled. Is it possible to refuel them? Five, six, eighth, ninth, tenth. These guys are also not fully refueled. Refueled. I wish they would do that. Actually, <laughs> come on, guys, refuel at nearest refueling point. They're gonna refuel at Kiedia. I'm not sure if that's gonna help us. So 10th war fleet needs refueling. What about the 9th? Where are we? Ah, yeah, all right, so we're over there. These guys need repairs. Yeah, you're not, you're not desperately destroyed. Where's the 8th war fleet? Those guys are down there, right? Okay. And they really need refueling. Like, right now. I think they are here to refuel. But it didn't work, it seems. What is this? Yeah, this is a hydrogen planet. And I think I built a couple of um, refueling fleets. Did I not? Um, first tanker fleet, third tanker fleet, fourth tanker fleet. Where are you? You're in Villabre. Okay. Don't I have a fifth tanker fleet? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Interesting. Yeah, you can see now the, that the ex-humans are starting to attack the Cascodons. That's gonna make their life miserable. I like it. But I would really like to pull some of my war fleets um, from these places. This fleet is not desperately out of fuel, so I think I'm gonna send you to the Velabre system. Just wanna, just wanna get some reinforcements up there. These guys are like nearly out of fuel. Yeah, they're gonna refuel at Ciclada Panel you know, Colony. Five is already up there. Four is fully refueled. Okay, perfect. So the fourth can actually go up there. You can move to the second tanker fleet. Move to that gas cloud, then we're gonna refuel you. That's the second invasion fleet. I think they have, yeah, they have a lot of troops. Alrighty. Capital ship waiting thunder is under attack. Yeah, they, they're sending in their ships piecemeal. So um, they won't really see a lot of good things coming out of that. We've got a shortage in on Maripest 1. Those are just too many building projects at once. But I think our private sector is going to take care of that. At least um, these guys are moving in here to be repaired and all that. Oh, wait. So Kedia 3 attack vector. Really? Well... Our 10th fleet should take care of that. Don't think that's really a problem. They are not fully refueled though. That's something I don't like. But I think our private sector should be able to transport enough um, stuff over here. So that we're fine. We are a bit down on our money. We have way too much military. Actually... What I would like to do is find out if this World Destroyer, there's, there's a tech that we don't have. You can, can see it over here. Advanced Super Weapons. Um, this is a Super Laser and that is what is built into the World Destroyer. I want to know if uh, I get the technology if I 
retire this thing at the nearest shipyard. I just have to look, uh, have a look into the empire policy um, to find out what happens if we if we take them apart. Um, construction, troop recruitment, boarding and capture. How to disassemble captured military ships. Always disassemble a base for tech and resources. All right. That's that's fine. I don't have to change that. That's that's already okay. The uh, Empire policy screen is really useful. You can give a lot of work to the AI. We are playing fully manual though, so just because I I don't really trust the AI. They uh, it, it does a a good job. It's, it's not that. I just like to be in control. Maybe I got some, some control issues or something. <laughs> um, didn't I send another fleet over here to that tanker fleet? It doesn't look like it. How much do you have on board? Here's the question. 43,000. Okay. So that's fine. The fourth fleet is moving over here and then we're going to refuel them and send them in there. They're sending strike forces against our war fleets. I'm not too worried about that. What is our second invasion fleet doing? Yeah, attacking the Maripaz to penal colony. Okay. Now that's fine then. I won't have to worry about that. But I think the third invasion fleet is the one that I... Where is it? Over here, yeah. Loading troops at Maripaz to... You're not, you're not able to get there. Well, what is your problem? Hmm. There's still giant amounts of troops on this planet. Somehow they're not getting getting loaded. So now we're invading invading this planet, which should be good. How's the population over here? Minus seven. I don't think they're gonna rebel anymore. Pretty certain of that. We have we have high war weariness. This war has been going on for a very long time. Plus we are a way of the ancients um, government. Can't wage war that long. Well, still, I think it's okay. It's gonna be okay at least. So if we take in Maripaz though, I think we can go around here. Take these big systems from them. This place has 10 billion, 7 billion, 7.5 billion, and this place has 10 billion. So if we take them, they're gonna be reduced to way less guys. They still have 221 billion people. I'm thinking there must be a lot of them in here in that system oh yeah that's a huge system 17 billion 8 billion uh, 5 billion so this must be their most important system now I think what about Dira oh they have a lot of um, planets over here too 5 billion 8 billion yeah this is their heartland definitely this is where they started their, their ugly rise. So what about the 10th fleet? Yeah, you, you refueled, okay. So that's fine. Now they're gonna get in here, but I don't think they can do much. They're starting to attack my orbital defense platforms. I don't like that. Come on guys, give it to them. What are these? System polices, okay. And they might be able to destroy some of them. Oh, we got galaxy police ships in here as well. That's all fine. They're just a bit slow in reacting. Should have built these one by one instead of spamming them out. 207 unbuilt. Yeah, now they have these big, big capital ships. I don't like them. Maybe. I, oh, they got a ship captain on this. Interesting. Oh, they can't really stand against our. 
Oh, things. Okay, so we've invaded this place. Uh, Maru passed to Penal Colony. Got a lot of troops down there. Holy crap. <laughs> um, so. We're going to construct an outpost here. Just so that we have a basic basic services on the planet. How's it looking over here? We've got a couple of penal colonies in here. I don't like that. So we're gonna we're gonna change that. No, that's not what I wanted. Ah, I have to do it like that, okay. So that's gonna be Marrow Pass to Prime. And then we're gonna have this one. It's gonna be Marrow Pass to two. And this is gonna be Marrow Pass to three. We don't have any penal colonies in our free republic. Yeah, like that. Okay. Oh, we've got a lot of a lot of destroyed ships here. That's the second war fleet. Oh, it does not look good. Second war fleet does not look good. I don't like that. Maybe they could... Um, could do this. Um, what is that? That is the ninth fleet. They got John Smith on it. We lost a lot of ships. 13 ships have been lost. All right. That's interesting. We need to refuel and repair most of them. Yeah, these guys, they don't really have a chance of getting there. They're just too slow. There's an ex-human exploration ship. I really like their ship designs. Um, that's the the main ship of the ninth war fleet. I'm glad that they that they have survived, like our capital ships. Um, do we still have troops on this planet? Oh, same amount of troops. Why are these guys not doing what I tell them? I tell them to load troops at Maripasto Prime. It can't be that difficult to load troops. Do we just have an incredible amount of... Oh yeah, we have so many ships waiting here. That's the thing. All right, all these ships trying to bring resources down. Okay, well, we get a handle on this. Um, Cascadon uh, Imperial Dominion is under attack from nearly all its neighbors. The blue ones are the humans. These brownish ones are the ex-humans. Oh, ex-humans actually did pretty well for themselves by conquering the yaw over there. Um, you can see that um, this should all be vacuous ships. Well, it's only exploration ships. But I think their fleet is on the way. Oh no, these are the Thark Wars. Okay. Where are actually my, my Vecorous buddies? Like here. That's the 79th fleet. They're gonna bring a troop transport over there. Destroy some stuff. I think they can be helpful. The Iltas are out for the for um for themselves. They declared war when they saw that the Cascodons were growing weaker. That's that's how it goes. Dogpiling and all that. Yeah, they lost Lost a lot of people. I think that is the the planet that we took from them. Maripasto 3. But I guess I have to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing. There are still a couple of episodes left before we have finally defeated the Imperial Cascade and Dominion. And I hope you join me in the next episode for... Um, more conquering of Cascadon planets for trying to sort them out and 
hopefully at some point for their final defeat. Hope you join me for that. Thanks and bye bye.